14 games unbeaten and we're in the automatic promotion places. I think it's fair to say things are going pretty well so far. Hello everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome to part five of Sleeping Giants here on ReCFC. We are managing Sunderland and of course we're starting in League One. And uh, yeah, it's been a very good few weeks uh, since she was last with us in game time, of course, because she was with us yesterday. But in game time, it's been a very good few weeks. We're 14 games unbeaten. It's been absolutely superb form. We're not scoring as many goals as I would like. But defensively, we are pretty solid. Let's jump across and show you exactly what's been going on in the schedule. Now, I won't run through every game because that will take a hell of a long time but use last with us for the mk dons game where we beat them one nil just after that we did slip up and we drew with doncaster and we actually conceded for the first time in about eight games but it was a bit disappointing we did play well and ultimately we just we equalized late on in the game to give ourselves the one one draw we then won the next two games and then we drew again against burton albion where we got a penalty in that game and uh, to salvage us a point and we played really well the last two games against Wigan and Blackpool that Blackpool game was moved yet again and uh, yeah it's nuts and there's another one as well this is a new one Lincoln City now you eagle-eyed folk out there would notice we was going to play uh, Lincoln City before today's episode first time this has happened to me that game was moved and postponed because of a waterlogged pitch I've never seen that in Football Manager at all. Is it a part of the new update? Let me know down in the comments if that has happened to you before, but it has never happened to me at all in my couple of years of playing Football Manager. I say couple of years, I've only been playing Football Manager properly, like as my main game since last year. Before that, I was just on and off. I was more of a FIFA guy then. But now I've seen the light and I'm a Football Manager guy. But that's the first time I've actually seen that happen. So I was quite astonished with that. But today we take on Wimbledon. Let's jump across to the league table and show you exactly what's going on. We're currently occupying second, the automatic promotion space. We're a point behind Crew Alexandra, having a blind in season. But we do have a game in hand over them. We're three points clear of Peterborough. Again, with a game in hand. Peterborough got MK Dons today. I think they've got MK Dons. Have I got that right? MK Dons versus Peterborough. Yeah, so that's a big game. Six against third. There's only three points between them. Ideally, it'd be nice for that one to be a draw and we win and pull away a little bit. Today's opponent's Wimbledon, who I mentioned are another sleeping giant because, of course, I thought about uh, doing a sleeping giant series with them and that is probably going to be next year's one. So keep an eye on that one. That'll be a good one as well. They're currently 23rd in the league, 17 points from 16 games. They're averaging just over a point per game, only five wins out of their first 16, nine defeats. Hopefully we can pile more misery on them. But if you look at the bottom half of the table, look how tight that is. So you've got uh, AFC Wimbledon, 23rd. There's only three points separating them, a 14th place at Lincoln City. Interesting stuff. What a season it is down in the bottom half of the table. Uh, look at that. There's no surprise here. I've only just clocked this, but it is no surprise. Josh Scowen, 10 yellow cards. Uh, the next one, one on the list is on six. Scowen is always getting himself in the book. He's always in trouble, that guy. Uh, but it's nice to see a few of our players dotted around. Jordan Willis is, in, is second in the average ratings there. Lee Burge is second in the clean sheets with nine overall. But nothing else to tell you. A couple of injuries. We'll go through that next in the next screen. Let's jump straight to the match, shall we? This is the team we have gone with. So it is Burge in goal. Vos uh, Vok I keep going calling him Voskins. Vokins, Willis, Wright. Mitch Clark in at right back. That's a little change you may have spotted. Uh, Luko Nine is now in the ball winner midfielder role. Uh, deep line playmaker is Power, the skipper. We've got Jones, Maguire and McGeady out on the right and O'Brien up top now. Um, there's a couple of injuries to tell you about. One of them is, it's a big old squad when you actually start scrolling, isn't it? Uh, Scowen's out injured. He is, should be back in five days, back into training, so he's out. That's why Luko Nine is there. And Mitch Clark is at right back, of course, on loan from Leicester. But he stepped in there and played very, very well for us. And uh, Lyndon Gooch is also out. He's due back in three days, I believe. It is three days. And he's been out for a few weeks as well with a groin injury. And he is, uh, that's why Aidan McGeady is in there. It should be... Fairly straightforward, you'd think, if you look at second in the league and sec against second bottom with the second 
Team in second, top of the uh, top of the league, are the home team. I'm just getting my words mixed up. But it's late. It's like 11 o'clock, me recording this. Decided to watch a film before recording, and then, then forgot I had to record, so then I had to quickly jump on and record this episode. So let's say to them, uh, let's show why the pundits have the, uh, uh, have the right to back you up. There we go again, I'm waffling. So it is Sunderland against Wimbledon here at the stadium. A light opportunity for us to go top if crew do slip up. But ultimately, with MK Dons and Peterborough playing each other, two, one of the promotion contenders will be dropping points today. And hopefully we can capitalise. Jones coming forward here for Sunderland. Plays it back to power. Maguire. Maguire's effort. And it is over the bar. Um, Jones has been phenomenal for us. Him and Lyndon Gooch. I keep going on about Lyndon Gooch, don't I? But he's been absolutely terrific for us. And so has Jones. And he's got a 6 point... Well, I was about to say a 6.7 already, but it has dropped down to a 6.6. .6. We have been playing very well, dominating games, lots of chances. We're not scoring as many goals as I would like. I think we still need that striker with a killer instinct to come in because we do miss a hell of a lot of chances. Midfield seems to prop up with a lot of goals. Um, but yeah, that that is the problem. Defensively... We're pretty good. And, you know, I've said that and we're probably going to concede. Right now, as I said it, it's a good save from Burge. Longman should have scored there for Wimbledon. It is still nil-nil. But ultimately, other than that, we're playing very, very good football indeed. Nice passing. We, we scored a wonderful team goal in the FA Cup. And I, I don't think I'll run through that in the schedule. We knocked out Bristol Rovers in the FA Cup. We won 3-0 away. Made a couple of changes, but played a fairly strong team. And it did pay dividends. And that was a poor miss from Aidan McGee. He had the whole goal to aim at because the keeper was laying on the floor, having a little nap, and he blasted it into the stands. So yeah, 3-0 win over Bristol City. What an effort that was. A little cheeky chip. And I, I will tell you what happened in the Bristol Rovers game. It wasn't Bristol City. The Bristol Rovers game, when there's hi when the highlights stop. 3-0 win, and uh, it was wonderful. We've got ourselves through to the next round, and um, who I've completely forgot who we're playing, which isn't great news, is it, for you? But um, it should, actually, it's Watford. Watford in the Championship. There we go. Um, I did remember in the end. What an effort that is, and it's off the crossbar again. I told you it's late. That's why I just can't remember anything right now. But it is Watford. Championship side Watford. It should be a good game. A little test for us. If we want to go up next year, of course, Watford came down from the Premier League recently. Uh, if we want to go up in the next year, it's a good little test for us to see where we are in terms of championship and and good quality championship opposition. Here is uh, Willis on the ball now, coming forward. Uh, 9 into McGeady. O'Brien, lovely football. Mitch Clark is in. Can he score? He can't. And it is Sam Walker with the save for Wimbledon. It was a good opportunity. Lovely football. We're playing that lovely little football, intricate football, getting uh, passing through the lines nicely. It's just that ultimate last third clinicalness, basically, is what we're missing. 9 on the ball now. He goes long to O'Brien. 9 is a fabulous player to have in the squad. He can play white, uh, right wing back and he can also play comfortably in midfield. And Jones is there with a free header, and he should have scored. He's three yards out. It was easier to score, and he's put it over the bar, and it is still Sunderland nil, Wimbledon nil. Again, we're dominating. We're not putting the ball in the net, and we need to start doing it. 9 goes long, looking for O'Brien. Uh, Maguire looking for Jones, but it is blocked by McLaughlin. Longman now looking to hit the counter-attack for Wimbledon, but he gives it away to Maguire. They're very poor. Come on, boys. We need to be a lot better than this Jones power. I'll be very disappointed if we're not leading at half-time. And now Wimbledon are going to try and hit us on the counter-attack. Harrison coming forward. Uh, we need to deal with this. He's gone all the way back to Guinness Walker. And um, Bailey Wright comes in with the interception with the header. Jones on the ball now. He shifts it to Power. He puts a lovely ball into O'Brien. He's got to score and he does. It was a lovely ball through from Max Power. And it is Sunderland 1, Wimbledon 0. It has been coming. And finally we do have the breakthrough. Lovely play from Jones here. He holds the ball up nicely. Realises he's crowded out. Power, I mean, number 39 just completely left him. Le left him? Left him. Lovely ball through to O'Brien. And it is Sunderland 1, Wimbledon 0. And it's a striker who scored a goal, which is nice. We still need someone clinical up there, in my opinion. Maguire, back to Willis. Can we make it 2-0 just before half-time? We thoroughly deserve it if we do. O'Brien, McGeady on the ball, who should have scored earlier on in the game with that open goal. Clark's ball in. Jones is header, and it's a great save from Walker. And it is a corner in the 40th minute. That could have been 2-0. But the save from Sam Walker was fantastic and a header over the bar from Willis and it's still 1-0 to the Black Cats. As it stands, we are still second. I, I keep going to tell you the points total, but then the highlight interrupts us once again. Bailey Wright, that's a problem with the extended highlights, isn't it? Especially when there are loads of highlights. 0-9's ball in, power. Jones tipped over again by Walker and Jordan Jones just cannot score 
for the life of him today, can he? Could have had a hat trick today if it wasn't for the keeper. Power puts the ball in. Bailey Wright's header, and it is just over the bar into the Sunderland fans behind. 14 shots to their one. We've only scored one goal. That's the concern. The concerning stat because we've only had four on target. We should have had more than that. We are going to say playing well, but there's still room for improvement. And we'll go with that. No need to change anything tactically, in my opinion. Let's let the lads play how they are and hopefully go and seek that second goal. Although when it's 1-0, it's dangerous. If it goes, if it's 1-0 for the next 25 minutes or something, Wimbledon uh, will fancy their chances of hitting us on the break. So that's something we have to be wary of. Walker clutches the ball now. He's going to surely go long and look for over the top ball. He goes long. No one running in behind. Vokins down to Jordan Jones now. Jordan Jones calls in mayhem. Power, lovely ball to the overlapping Vokins, who goes to put the ball across. Ricochets everywhere. Jones, and it's cleared away. It's very scrappy for Football, isn't it? Power. Back to 09. Maguire. Power. Um, McGeady on the ball now. 09 again. Plays out wide to Clark into Aidan McGeady. If he can get the ball across, play, players are queuing up in there. There was three boys in there. We couldn't get the ball across. Talking of Chris Maguire, you might have seen me tweet out earlier. Twitter.com forward slash Chris Mag It's not forward slash Chris Maguire, is it? What an idiot. Forward slash Reese FC. Um, Chris Maguire, I did tweet about. He's got a penalty attribute rating of. 17, and he puts every penalty wide. Unbelievable. Uh, Bailey Wright, power. Uh, back to Bailey Wright now. Back to Max Power. Uh, lovely ball in, but could, no one could get their glancing header on that to see that past Sam Walker. And I can't believe I just read, went to go and read my Twitter hand, uh, handle out, and then I read out Chris Maguire's name. Utter shambles right there, and I can't really edit that out, can I, either <laughs> mid-game. What a nightmare I'm having tonight on the old commentary. Burge to Willis. I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to let you watch the game and I'm not going to say a word. And just do do you do your own commentary in your head. Jones coming forward, plays it into O'Brien. McGeady with a strike. It is blocked. 09. Back to Bailey right now. Into Max Power, the skipper. And that is end of highlight. We should look at making a change now. And uh, let's have a look then. So, we are going to bring Grant Ledbitter up. Should we? They're both playing really well in midfield, aren't they? Might give 09 a little rest because he's played a lot of football recently in midfield. So um, Grant Ledbetter can come on, and I think another change... I'll tell you who we need. We need Oberfamey scoring goals. He's only scored two for us, bless him. He's really struggling. We brought him in to be the talisman for us, but he's not doing anything. He's just sitting on the bench. When he does play, he's poor. Hopefully he can get a goal um, to finish off Wimbledon stakes. It is only 1-0. We do need that second. I do really worry that they are going to grow in confidence and go and get another goal. McGeady goes close as it just whistles past the far post. 19 minutes remaining. Sunderland 1, Wimbledon 0. We've only had three shots this second half. We're going to demand more from the boys because that's not good enough. We had 14 at half time. As it stands, with five points clear of Peterborough with a game in hand. Point behind Crew, who must be winning in there. Yes, yeah, MK Don's 1, Peterborough 1. Uh, Crew are 1 0 up against Plymouth. It'd be lovely if Plymouth can get an equaliser in the 90th minute now. Uh, three minutes added on. Surely that's going to be it. It's been a bit of a drab first, second half, hasn't it? Ledbitter with the ball in. Cleared away. Jones picks up the ball. Surely the referee's going to throw the whistle now. Power into Ledbitter. Ledbitter goes out wide to Bailey Wright, who strangely is out there. He's the centre-back. And why he's at right midfield, I don't know. But that is full-time. It's another win for Sunderland. It's 15 games unbeaten. And we are on fire. OK, it wasn't the best. It was a good performance. But we should have finished them off. We should have scored more goals. Ultimately, I'm moaning about how many goals we're scoring. We've got a plus 16 goal difference, which is better than anybody in the league. If we had a clinical striker, we might have a few more points and certainly a few more goals. It's probably, I don't know why I'm whining. I'm always whinging about something, aren't I? But let's have a look at the schedule then. And we've got a very busy final few uh, weeks. Well, is it two weeks? Like two and a half weeks of the month left? And we've got six games, five games now. That's mad. Five games in 12 days. It's going to be very, very oh, risky, isn't it, for the injuries? We've got Manchester United in there at the end of the year for the under-23s game against, uh, against uh, in the Papa John's Trophy, I should say, in the second round. Hopefully we get through that as well, because it'd be nice to beat Manchester United, albeit the under-23s. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do, we will skip through quite a bit of this, I think. I think what we'll do now, I I'm, I'm happy to skip through the rest of December and probably through the whole of January and bring you back for that Gillingham. Uh, should I come back for Gillingham? We've seen MK Dons. We'll come back for that Gillingham game right at the end of the window. You can see the transfer activity we do. 
and um, yeah, there, there's not going to be too much. Hopefully, we just bring in a striker. But that's a fair chunk of games I'll uh, I'll play offline, and then we'll come back for that Gillingham game. And it should paint the picture nicely for the promotion race and in the cup competitions as well. We might progress in the Papa John's Trophy. We might progress in the FA Cup as well. So we'll bring you back for the game at home to Gillingham. So guys, if you did enjoy that, please leave a like on there for me. If you're new to the channel as well, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. Make sure you hit the little bell to notify uh, to be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at nottwitter.com slash Chris Maguire. Don't do that. Twitter.com slash ReCFC. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you on Monday for the next episode of Sleeping Giants. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.